Adam Wu interviews Mary. This is a general question session. The interview took place in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia, on the 8th of October, 2012. All right, so please state your name and who you are. Okay. Uh, well, my name's Mary, and Mary Luck. That's what I was called by my parents when I was born about 34 years ago now. Um, but I also believe myself to be Mary Magdalene, who was the wife of Jesus in the first century. Among other things, I have a memory of a life uh, lived in the first century before I met Jesus, um, after his passing, and then also experiences in the spirit world um, before I also remember this life that I've just had now. Mm. So. So, with uh, Mary Magdalene, I guess, uh, what can you give us a little history on uh, who who you are, and uh, what I guess before before present and then after the death of Jesus? Sure. Um, so I was born into a a reasonably uh, middle middle class sort of a family in the first century, mm. and I lived with um, my parents and a sister and but I was yeah it's a bit hard to talk about still sometimes um, yeah I have a lot of memories of um, growing up in that family uh, but also some traumatic things happening to me in my childhood in that family um, abusive things and as a result of that falling pregnant when I was quite young, which caused quite a lot of shame to the family, and I was actually sold mm. as a slave. Um, and I'll have a memory of having that child, and I that child actually passed. And after that time, I became very angry with the world, and uh, I did become a prostitute for, for some time, which is typically how I'm recorded right. to have been in the Bible. Um, following that, though, I had some other kind of um, life-altering experiences where I realised the path that I was on was quite dangerous and um, that I was going to die if I continued on it. And so I kind of um, pulled myself out of that life and I became the mistress of a wealthy man and I set up my own business under his name, uh, importing fabrics and creating textiles and things with other women who'd had a, quite a troubled past. And at about that time in my life, I met Jesus. He was traveling through the town that I was living in. Um, and Your heart I, just dropped, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah, it certainly did. Um, I was very drawn to him. Uh, but then I was still carrying a lot of anger with men, a lot of desire to control mm. men. And so our relationship didn't come together magically back then. I wanted to control him. and. Just as he is now, he's pretty hard man to control. <laughs> um, and so we ha we spent about a year or eighteen months, kind of where we came together, and I left. And after that, I worked through some stuff, and we came back together, and we were married. And we didn't have that long together, about a year. Um, and I fell pregnant, and that was when he died. So I was pregnant uh, when he passed, and. Following that, I had the child, Sarah, in Egypt. Mm. Um, I left because there was a lot of fear amongst the people that we knew that I would also be killed and that Sarah could potentially be a son. And there was still a lot of political feeling that a, a child of ours would lead, um, that, uh, that the Messiah's child would also follow in some kind of lineage in freeing people from the Romans, which was never really our purpose, but that's there was still a lot of political feeling about that. So we left and uh, had Sarah in Egypt, and following that, we actually made our way to France, and I did spend a lot of time in France. There's a lot of legends about that, and that was true. And I died uh, some 30 years after Jesus died, um, but I also, via torture, I was found by Romans, who were still, after all that How time, did you looking... Pass? I was tortured to you death. Tortured. Yeah. Because Sarah, by that time, had had her own family. Mm -hmm. She had her own children. And there were still people looking for us. And also, um, 
there was a large movement growing around us because we continued to teach these things that Jesus had taught. Uh, and so um, I, was, I was killed and Sarah's family was also killed at that time. She, she went on to live longer, but... Um, yeah. Did she have any children? Yeah, she had two kids. But they were killed really at a similar time to right. what I was. Here. So there is there a lineage? No, because they they were killed before they had children. So okay. yeah. Beautiful. Perfect. Three kids. Oh, three. I can't remember. We got three. <laughs> I forgot about the youngest one. <laughs> yeah. That's all good.